show your leadership yet. Don't tell us that. My name is Shelby Seelinger, and uh, I have a couple of questions. One, the most recent discussion on debt decrease, $1.2 trillion decrease over the next 10 years, that's not a decrease, it's just a, a not as, as high an increase, but only in Washington can a, a less than increase we call a decrease. So one, what are you specifically willing to cut? And the second thing is, uh, you make over $175,000. Now, I don't know how many other people in the room make that much money. Nobody. But people on Social Security, fixed incomes, disability, and military retirees have not had a pay raise in two years. My wife's a school teacher and hasn't had a pay raise in three years. However, Congress has voted the last 50 years a pay increase every year. Yeah. Yeah. So, in addition to the balanced budget, when is Congress going to join the American people to take a pay cut? Yeah, no health care. Or, and or, well, pension is decided. I have a great pension. I'm retired military. I have a fantastic pension. But you had a choice. Uh, so, when is Congress going to do that? In addition to the balanced budget, you know, the favorable rating of Congress is less than 10% right now. Why don't you ask us for a pay raise? I mean, seriously, you work for us. I know you. F-35.
money, but give it an IOU to the Social Security saying, okay, we owe you this amount. Starting last year, when there was more money going out than coming in for Social Security, Social Security trust funds started pulling in their IOUs, and so the federal government is paying them that. And that's what they're saying, that there should be enough IOUs. So that's why some people are saying, we need to start talking about what can be done for future generations, not for you guys now on Social Security, because you're good. You're, you're going you're to have all of your benefits, and it's going to be there. But we're talking for the younger generation, by the time, you know, 20, 30 years from now, there'll be not enough money coming in to take care of that. So should there be some tweaks to the system for that, a <coughs> uh, different age group or whatever? And it's fairly easy to fix. Um, it's a defined contribution system and a defined benefit system. So you could tweak it uh, to make it, um, you know, eat balance fairly easily. Uh, whether pol politicians or Washington has the courage to do that or not, it's debatable because in our budget in the House, we passed a measure saying, Social Security Trust Fund, you need to do a study and see if this is going to stay solvent or not. And if not, you need to come up with a plan for in the future how to keep it solvent. That's all the, the Republican House budget said. Uh, but even with that, there was some ads put out to certain districts. There was, you know, just telling lies, saying your, your representative is trying to build Social Security stuff. So it's hard to do. It's the right thing to do, to be proactive, but it's hard to do politically because people demagogue it, and unfortunately, and that's that we don't get a pay raise. Oh, that's based on oh, pay, pay raise. The pay raise is based. Oh. But the other thing yeah. is Congress, by some court way of town meetings, do you get back to your leadership and tell them that the people are very dissatisfied, they're fed up, and like that gentleman said, they don't care if the Republicans or Democrats, they want things done. Would you please make that known to your leadership in the House that the people are tired, they're tired and they're fed up and they want something <coughs> done from their elected officials? Don't get an answer, just take it to them and tell them it. I will. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. 
phone number so we can find out.